This time out is sponsored by Augie's Locker Room. Augie's features the largest collection of Notre Dame football memorabilia and gifts, including rare and hard-to-find items. Hey, this is Augie, Augie's Locker Room. Website, augieslockerroom.com. Visit us here or the website. Well, maybe there's no such thing as a perfect game unless we're talking about baseball, but Notre Dame pitched a heck of a game tonight with a 42-3 victory over Davy to open the 2020 three season in Aviva Stadium. Tim, uh, 440 yard, 44 yards to 171. First downs 27 to 12. We can go over all the stats. We will go over most of them. Averaging six yards per carry against a defensive line that gave up half that per carry last year. And that entire line is back. And they did it with two new guards. Just an outstanding 2023 debut performance for the Fighting Irish. Anytime you start off with five touchdown drives in your first five drives, that's a good sign. It was six out of seven. There should have been seven scoring drives. I'm sure Spencer Schrader regrets his one miss. Speaking of not a perfect game, it would have been a perfect yeah. game at that without that. What an effort by the Irish offense. And I thought Marcus Freeman made a good point while I was asking. We all asked about Hartman. I asked about Great House. It does start up front. The offensive line was great for Sam Hartman. When they weren't perfect, Sam Hartman made people miss, created a touchdown. He almost created another. Uh, it was an ideal day for Notre Dame to start that way, and pretty big deal for the wide receivers, too, to make plays that were there. I think there was maybe only one or two plays missed the entire day that a wide receiver could have had. We see what Sam Hartman can do. He goes through his progressions. He finds people. He finds six, six different wideouts, 19 of 23, 251 yards, Four touchdowns is Notre Dame debut, tying Jack Cohn from a couple years ago. What can you say, JB? He was outstanding. I'm going to throw about four stats and figures at you boys right now. And the first one is going to be four for four in the first half. 28 points off four possessions. They had to be efficient to put Navy in a bind that would make Navy uncomfortable. Notre Dame did exactly that. You talk about a perfect game. That is a perfect first half. 28 to nothing. The shutout was intact. Notre Dame clicked in all phases. That's the first big one to me. 15. That is the number of big plays that Notre Dame had in the game, and it was almost 50-50. It was maybe eight in the throw game, seven in the running game for about 266 yards of Notre Dame's 444 yards of total so offense. The other one to me, nine. Sam Hartman targeted nine different guys. He made connections with eight of those guys. And the last one, which we've talked about, I've harped on probably too much, the depth of this team, 21 Notre Dame players recorded a tackle tonight. That's phenomenal to me. Maris Leofile had an outstanding game. I mean, you know, the, it, when you limit Navy to 2.7 yards per carry, you were doing great things. Navy had two long possessions. The rest of them were basically trash, and, and, and Notre Dame controlled the tempo of the game. The two, the two starting offensive guards, Pat Coogan and Rocco Spindler, they were physical from the, the very beginning of the game. Notre Dame was running right up the middle with, with Audric Estime. Estime had the fumble. Uh, in, in the first quarter that uh, prevented him from getting another carry until the second half. But they distributed a football, Jaden Greathouse, uh, with, with two touchdowns. They distributed a football among the running backs. It was exactly how you draw it up. Uh, Navy's last possession was too long for Steve Angeli to get the number of snaps that you wanted, but he did throw a pass, and they were moving in that direction. It really worked out extremely well on all fronts tonight. Well, and defensively, I think it's huge that Dave, two of Davis' first three plays gained over 10 yards. Maris Leofow mentioned they actually came out of a formation they had never practiced against, considering how much they practiced against Navy this offseason. That says a lot. Then there was a 31-yard pass in the fourth quarter. I think in between, there was one gain in excess of nine yards. That is a heck of a defensive effort. Look, against the triple option, you're going to give up something at some point on these drives, and Notre Dame was giving up a couple six-yard slot-back pitches to the outside. If that's the problem in the game and then you make the tackle, the, at least the second guy would always make the tackle for the Irish. I thought it was a fantastic effort by the defense overall. It's just overshadowed because the offense was tremendous tonight, and when you say nine guys are targeted, five had catches for over 11 or 12 yards. That's making plays. It's not just guys catching short screens and getting a couple yards on the play. They really spread the wealth, and it was rewarded for Hartman by those guys making plays after the catch. I think we all expected, you know, we talked all week about they, they, uh, that they, uh, Navy had a quarterback that they wanted to throw in there and throw the football a little bit, but they stuck with Lavatai, and I, you can understand why they would. He's the veteran guy. He came in with, I think tonight was his 19th start, and you can understand why they would stick with him. I don't think it would have made a difference because Horvath hasn't played yet. He yeah. was a freshman last year, and he still hadn't played yet. But I was a little bit surprised to see that 
but I, I, I'm not sure that was going to make any kind of difference tonight. And, and you wonder a couple of different things. Number one, did, did, how much of that did Navy even want to show tonight in a game in which they were so physically outclassed? Do they maybe save that for some of their conference foes or, or the Commander-in-Chief's Cup or, or something along those lines? The other thing I would point to is maybe because Notre Dame was so efficient offensively uh, and scored 14 points so very quickly, the Notre, uh, that Navy realized in a hurry, we better do everything in our power to hold the ball as long as we can, or this thing is off to the races in a hurry. It still ended up being off to the races. Good for Deanne Colsey. He, uh, he had a rough preseason. We didn't expect yeah. much out of him tonight. He, when he had opportunities, he made plays. He broke a tackle. He scored a touchdown. Not a good debut for Tobias Merriweather. Had an opportunity early on an easy pass, and then he needed to compete in the end zone. The ball was a little bit underthrown, but he needed to compete in the end zone. He originally called interference, and then they picked up the flag. So not a, not a great start for him, but it's certainly a great start for Jaden Greathouse. The guy just makes plays. He made it throughout high school. He made it throughout the spring. He made them in the blue gold game, and he made them again tonight with his two of the four touchdown passes thrown by Sam Hartman. Not only Great House first catch was a touchdown, but Jadarian Price's first career rush was a touchdown. It's a memorable night for a lot of those guys, and it's just they're building that depth. JB has been alluding to it all August. It's a group that we're still not going to know enough about it until after week three, North Carolina State, but this is about as good as it gets to going out in the game. I think we did learn a little bit about Notre Dame today. It is a deep offense, and this is going to help their confidence. Sam Hartman has some weapons, and he's going to make them better. That's what we learned. We, we know that Devin Ford is a quality runner, but he showed flash tonight for the first time when he uh, threw a quality b block on a great blitz pickup. That was Jaden Greathouse's first touchdown of the night. They did a little bit of everything tonight. And you saw a play uh, when Audric Estime had a, had a key conversion reception early in the game on a quick out out of the backfield. Who did you see downfield making space for him? It was 83 Jaden Thomas and 19 Jaden Greathouse. Again, we've talked to all camp uh, about these wide receivers, but they face such a great secondary day in and day out. I think we saw some of the potential they have tonight. The other point that I absolutely want to make, and I asked Marcus Freeman about this after the game, the cleanliness of operations, guys. Week zero. 2,700 miles or whatever it is from South Bend. They just flew in on Thursday morning, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. One penalty, I believe, the entire game. No delay of game penalties. The one time they called a timeout was only because Sam Hartman is so smart that he knew exactly what the defense was doing, yeah. and they showed at the last minute, and he still adjusted. He would have been fine, but the clock was zero. They had to call that timeout. It was not anything to do with communication. It was not misalignment. It was just Sam Hartman's really good. Tremendous start for the Fighting Irish, a 42-3 victory here at Aviva Stadium. Look for all of the information on irishillustrated.com.